All right, so I've been seeing so many common complaints, but a common theme on PTS that I can't help but myself but make a video on this. So there's been a few things that players really don't understand about what we've been told directly on how PTS works and some of the bugs around loadouts and how they actually work. So I have made a couple other videos on loadouts. I have made some other videos on content, but I wanna go into a bit of a deeper dive, a little more detailed explanation into the nuance about stuff to do with gearing and stuff to do with the loadouts and switching combat styles, specs, stuff like that, because a lot of people are still very confused on how that works. So let's look at the first thing. You've got your combat style window where you have multiple combat styles and you have your disciplines and you have your ability tree. Now, switching from this screen seems like what you're supposed to do and it is not what you're supposed to do. So the very first thing you need to do is look at this. I've got loadout one, arsenal, loadout two, shield specialist, Loadout 3, Arsenal, that was supposed to be a healer and I just never fixed it. And then Arsenal for single target DPS. So regular Arsenal is geared for running easier content with the skill tree stuff that gives me better AoE. And then single target Arsenal. So swap, that's the difference between those two. Tank, obviously very different. And then, yeah, that one's screwed up. So what you have to know is the one with the gold border is your active loadout. If I make any changes, they instantly get saved and updated. Say I want to move, unlock the ability, and I just move that, boom, that save is instant. You don't even know what happens. This loadout that is active has now been modified. I can move it back. Same thing with changing gear, changing skill tree. You know, I can go in and I can change my skill tree here. You hear that little click in the background, and now you can see it's been changed. So that is the most important thing about loadouts that you have to first learn is their auto saving to whichever one's active. So this is why the heal one says arsenal on it. So I'm gonna go activate this and now I can go back to my combat styles and I can choose bodyguard, heal and ranged. And then I'm not gonna bother picking stuff. One thing you'll notice is the ability bar looks like an absolute mess. Everything's filled in. You can see which abilities are highlighting to say they like new abilities have been brought in. Now let's go ahead and let's swap back to here. So if I take a look at this, uh, this actually looks pretty good. You know, everything seems to have swapped correctly. I'm not seeing any phantom extra abilities that I'm not supposed to see. I'm seeing all the right stuff. Uh, that's actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that is better than sometimes you get. So now we switch back to here and as you can see, uh, Okay, that's kind of working. So now I'm gonna try something else. We're gonna go and, oh, I've changed two recently. So we're gonna to change to this one and then let's try going to our Vanguard tank. So look at this. So this relic, this clickable relic is not supposed to be on my bar. This clickable relic is not on my loadout for my Vanguard tank. But for whatever reason, when I switched from bodyguard to vanguard, this stayed. I used to have my shoulder cannons in this spot. And what happened was I'd switch loadouts and this wouldn't move. It wouldn't get removed properly. And then my shoulder cannons, cannons wouldn't appear. So what I ended up doing was saying, ah, screw it. If that clicky relic is going to get in my way and it's going to be a problem, I just moved my shoulder cannons. So now this clicky relic, when it stays there, when it's not supposed to, it doesn't matter. And you can see how there's a blank spot on this loadout. So this is gonna happen with abilities too. So one of the problems is, is that when you go through your ability tree and you choose to change an ability, uh, this, not this icon, one of these icons that will have multiple copies of it. Uh, so here, let me go load a different character where I've had. All right, so this is Lamp. Lamp here is a sword. If we go and I press L for loadouts, but it's still mission log. <laughs> I haven't set up the second one yet, but anyways, Sage, whatever, big deal. So right now, balance and telekinetics, I set up both. So this is great. Um, stupid restriction. Oh no. But let's purchase the field respec because yeah, loadouts can't be changed without the field respecialization unless you are in specific areas. Uh, you can change between the same discipline, which is really nice. So we're gonna activate this and take a look. Now I've got imbued force armor uh, sitting here. 
and I've got Mind Crush, and then I've got a few other abilities. I have not set this up completely uh, because it's a bit broken. So now I'm going to switch back. I'm going to try this just a few times, see if we can get it to glitch on us. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, what I've been having happen is sometimes that Force Imbued um, ability there doesn't clear itself. Sometimes it sticks around and then it becomes... Uh, right now it's doing fine, so we're not getting the glitch. Oh well, I can't really show you, but Imbued Force Armor will sometimes actually stay on my bar when I switch. So, uh, that's fine. Now, the thing is, is let's go and load a different one up. And then let's go into my abilities. And then I'm going to throw Vanquish on my bar again. I can't remember which other ability did it, but I know Vanquish did it. Um, and where is the... I think it was this Destructive Wave one. So I'm going to take off that Destructive Wave. And now you can see, I changed that skill tree. And now I have Cloud Mine that just replaced Destructive Wave. And it spawned destructive, sorry, it just spawned disturbance on a different spot on my bar. So this is the problem, is you've got this cloud mind, this disturbance, and this destructive wave are linked together in some weird manner. And it creates some very weird results. And so what I'm having problems with then is, so we go back to our loadouts and we go activate this one. And... Let's go activate this one. Let's go. I might not be able to get it to glitch out on me. I can't remember if I've got them set up. So here we go. Yeah, we're starting to see some problems again. See, now this is Vanquish instead of Cloud Mind. So this is something where it's really frustrating that we shouldn't have to deal with this, you know, but this is just a bug right now. Um, so Disturbance is... Yeah, okay, Disturbance is the right one I want there. But that is the bug. The bug is, is that there are certain abilities that they interact with each other in a different way depending on how your skill tree choices are. There's multiple icons that can be related to this... Ugh, confusing. So it's a lot of work to fix, and depending on the class, it can be really challenging. So some classes are very simple, and it's really easy to figure out which one of these abilities are the mutants, which ones do weird things. And then what you have to do is you basically just have to spend the time switching back and forth between two different loadouts while looking for these abilities that are causing you grief. So looking for things like, you know, if you've got two combat loadouts where they choose uh, Cloud Mine versus Destructive Wave in here, uh, you can have some potential conflict. Same thing with that clicky relic I showed you earlier. So it's really about, it's super annoying, but this is PTS. There's going to be bugs like as long as they fix this before live, like, this is ridiculous. Um, if this would go live, people would be so frustrated. So, yeah, these are the base problems and how to fix them that I've been seeing a lot. So people, the first complaint was a misunderstanding that everything is auto-saved. So right now, any changes I make are going to automatically overwrite this loadout with those changes. So a lot of people were choosing and coming in here and changing their combat style from here while still being on their original loadout and then wondering why they can't create these loadouts and everything keeps getting reset. So that's the first reason why it resets is you always want to make sure you create a new loadout first, load it up, and then go to combat style, set it, load up all your quick bars, get everything correct. And then second step, once you have everything correct in terms of your quick bars, you're going to have to go back and forth incrementally between these two loadouts knowing what they're supposed to look like take a screenshot beforehand and figuring out which abilities are creating this conflict which abilities and sometimes you'll be lucky and sometimes there'll be two icons for the same ability uh like there can be two different icons that can be vanquish for example and if you get two vanquish icons to spawn on your bar then you can actually figure out one of these vanquish icons is going to give me grief and one of them is going to behave for me. And you can figure out which one to keep and which one to remove. So that, you know, or you just make sure they're not in the same slot. So, you know, if, if I swap th this Vanquish with this Vanquish, it could potentially create grief for me when I'm swapping between these loadouts. Now, in this situation, it's not, but I have had issues uh, for sure. 
when I first started setting this character up. So this character, I've already done a fair bit of fixing around a few things to help prevent that issue. But that is the thing is you got to have to incrementally go through. It sucks. It's not enjoyable. It is what it is. If you want to work with loadouts and have them work properly on the PTS and you're having glitches. Now there is one last little thing that I pointed out before about how the gear and the inventory works. So we'll load up my other character. All right, so I do have two sets of gear. There are a couple things that you need to be aware of that they haven't done with loadouts yet. So the first thing is, is your weapon and your offhand, whenever you change loadouts, they get placed randomly in your inventory. It seems to be the same spot most of the time, but it's just in a really awkward spot where you could accidentally sell the gear, forget that it's there. I like keeping all my loadout gear down on the bottom, nice and easy. So let's go and swap to our tank because that changes a lot of my gear. And then let's go look what gear changed. So the first thing is you'll notice these didn't change. So you're always going to have to go in here and you're always going to have to swap out your last implant and your last relic. That's just a glitch. It's the same as currently in live where you can't right click um, to put your implant and relic on in the second slot. It only does the one. So you can see the weapons got moved. So I'm going to move those around, keep them in nice and organized. And I have to put these two back on. And of course, sometimes the gear gets a little bit screwed up in terms of thinking that you no longer have an item, so it's no longer saved. So every now and again, it starts um, taking gear off that it shouldn't take off. Sometimes it seems to be a complete glitch that uh, just happens. I'm not sure if there's a better way to explain it. So, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to put back on... What? Why do I have augments and I guess I should have ripped the augments out of this gear. I don't whoa. So so it really screwed up. It took my weapons off. What? It won't let me re-equip my weapons. Invalid slot. Wow. So yeah, this is a new bug I haven't encountered before, that it actually won't let me equip my weapons. Um, but as you can see, we've got the usual problem with these, but yeah, sometimes the gear glitches out and sometimes you have to put that gear back on. So watch for it. When you do look in your loadouts and you see blank spots that if there's a blank spot like this, it will unequip currently equipped gear. It will end of story. So this, whenever you switch to the ones that have these empty slots, that gear is going to be taken off. It doesn't even show my offhand now. Yeah. Anyways, so it's not going to. So the other thing that's interesting though is the gear that I have here, it's in my inventory right now to swap. If I put that gear into a bank, personal bank, legacy bank, most of the time the loadout will still show these spots filled. And when I swap to this loadout and it doesn't have the gear in my inventory, what it will do is it'll just leave your existing gear on. It just won't make any changes and it will keep your loadout the same until you change a piece of gear. As soon as so let's go test that out. We're going to head over to a legacy bank and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So let's open that up. Let's open up our character sheet. And we're going to take two pieces of our tanking gear here. We're going to swap it there. Now take a look. We took the head and the chest off. So that's what's on there right now. And then I'm going to go to my loadout. I'm going to swap to here, activate. Notice this still looks the exact same. I don't know why my legacy bay window just changed to a different bay, but interesting. And yeah, because it doesn't have that gear, it didn't change anything. So Noble Decurion, uh, Demolisher's Helmet versus Bolt Blasters. And same thing here, Demolisher's versus Bolt Blaster. And you can see here, uh, these still say Demolisher's. They still do. So as soon as, you know, let's say that I recognize this mistake and I get my helmet back out, and I only swap the helmet. Now we go to the loadout, and because of that auto save feature, Bolt Blaster shows as the chest. So there's two ways you can use this to your advantage or disadvantage, depending on how you want to look at it. So the first thing is when you are upgrading gear, and I covered this in a previous video, when you're upgrading your gear and you're putting better item rating gear on and you want to update all your loadouts, rather than selling your gear to the vendor and having it become a blank spot in your loadout where you have to re-equip it, the other option is you can put that gear in your bank, in your bank, so it, it doesn't show it as a blank spot that would unequip it. And then 
you just simply take a piece off and put a piece back on uh, when you swap to all your new loadouts. Now, not really a big advantage over having that gear unequipped and right clicking in your inventory to put it back on. So, you know, you can use it, but both methods work. Having the gear unequipped that you just put on, that's the upgrade, it's not the end of the world to have to put it back on the character. But if you have a loadout where you've actually upgraded a whole bunch of pieces, you've probably got ridden them by now. Yeah, it won't matter. But it just it's one little thing. If you're upgrading a whole bunch of gear at the same time, put your old gear in the bank. So that way it doesn't unequip everything when you swap to those older loadouts. And then you can just swap one piece of gear, whether it's taking it on and off, or if you actually have a new piece to equip, and then you can make up the difference. So it's a nice little trick there, but it can get a little bit confusing that whenever you actually sell gear to a vendor or something like that or trash it, it becomes blank. Plus, there's just random times where your gear becomes blank anyways. But this can create a lot of problems and confusion as you're upgrading your gear and you're not paying attention. You can create these kind of problems without even realizing that that's what you did. So I might have to relog to get this to fix. I can't remember if I... Yeah, I didn't relog yet, but... That is frustrating. That is the first time I've encountered that glitch where my weapons won't equip. So I'll go to my favorite loadout there. That That's pretty much every glitch that I've encountered with the loadout system that has a workaround. I know I didn't go into tons of detail about how to fix the quick bars not saving and being in the same place because it's something where on each character you're just going to have to spend time doing it. There is no guaranteed quick fix. I told you how the process works. Uh, but we're not going to sit through and try and find every possible combination. All right, let's head on over and talk about how the gear upgrading works. So a lot of people misunderstand how the new gearing system works in terms of getting upgrades. People are used to the current system. They're used to going to a flashpoint. They're used to getting a piece of gear that drops and having a chance of getting an upgrade. So people are thinking, oh, I can go do flashpoints, whatever, get gear from bosses, and it should drop a higher item rating than what I currently have on every so often. That's not the case. They, if you look at every single piece, item rating, the content you're in, if it drops gear, it will never drop gear that's higher item rating unless there's a bug. So if you're in a story mode op, the highest that can drop is 322 item rating. So if you look at my uh, legendaries here, they're 326. I've done veteran mode flashpoints and I've had 324s drop because 324 is the cap for veteran mode. So, and then everything else, you know, 322, 320, uh, that gear, when I'm inside of a flashpoint or an operation, the gear that drops is going to match that stat. So if I beat a boss and he drops a piece of gear that's this piece, it will be item rating 320 that he drops. But if he drops these gloves for me, it'll be item rating 322 is what he'll drop for me. How you actually get better gear is through upgrades. And there's two different ways to upgrade stuff. Upgrade vendors and upgrade chess crates. So the first idea is this is the conquest gear upgrade vendor. And any gear that's in your inventory or currently equipped, it will show you the upgrade option. So right now, conquest gear is going to be capped at uh, 326. So anything that you see has to be a from the conquest gearing path it has to be originally this noble decurion uh decurion i don't know how to say it and you can upgrade it using your aquatic resource matrix your metal accommodations and this and doing the conquest path there's no way to actually get gear drops uh, every that are higher item ratings everything has to be done through the vendor everything has to be an upgrade like that now when it comes to the operations and flashpoints I have both veteran mode and master mode flashpoint gear on. Blue is master mode, uh, green is veteran. So it shows me all the items that I can upgrade that are from flashpoints. And that works the exact same way as the upgrade vendor. But there is one other option. You can see that I have three crates here. So I've got a elite. So this is the from the veteran mode flashpoint the gear guaranteed upgrade loot box, and then this is from the master mode. And if we look at the quests that I've taken, the weekly uh, for the heroic and all the dailies for the heroic give me aquatic resource matrix, which is used at upgrade vendors. The flashpoints, they give me these crates when I complete the weekly for the flashpoint. 
And this is the only way you can get a whole piece of gear that's an upgrade without using the upgrade vendor. And you actually get given a piece that's a higher item rating as long as you haven't reached the cap for that content. So if I was to open up the green box here from the veteran flashpoint, it could not give me an upgrade to my legendaries because they're at 326. Uh, 324 is the highest I can get out of veteran mode. Now master mode, it can give me 326 master mode flash points. So it could, I don't know if it would ever side grade them, but it couldn't give me anything higher. It might give me the same stats. But what it does is it looks through all of your item rating and it says, what's your lowest item rating piece? So I have nothing that is lower than 320. So what it would do when I open up one of these is it's going to look through all of my 320 gear and it's going to upgrade one piece of that 320. I don't get to choose. That's really frustrating that I don't get to choose. So right here I've got these 320s are all from the Conquest gear upgrade path. And I really would prefer if it upgraded my master mode boots with master mode boots. That's a whole different story about how to efficiently grind gear. Because I want to keep some gear on the Conquest path so I can you know spread my upgrading between all of them. So that's what would happen if I right click this box and I don't really want to do it right now. I would open it up and it would pick one of these item rating 320 pieces. So I've got four of them. It would pick one of them and give me a 322 and it would be blue and it would be the Supreme Decurion, which is master mode flashpoint gear. So because it's a master mode flashpoint crate, it will give me master mode flashpoint gear that's blue, gets upgraded at the flashpoint gear upgrade vendor. Hopefully that was enough of a deep dive and clear enough for you to understand uh, how the gearing works. It is a lot more complicated than before, but this is where a lot of people, they've been getting very confused because they don't understand that there's only two ways to actually get an upgraded piece. These crates, which there's crates for flashpoints, operations, and PVP, and then the upgrade vendors, which is done using currency that's obtained in different ways. Uh, this one, the two currencies are based off of getting your conquest, doing daily areas, doing heroic areas, and enemies have a chance of dropping this currency when you kill them. The operations, I don't actually have any ops gear in my inventory right now, but the operation gear upgrade vendor, they still use the aquatic resource matrix, which we already, and the, they, they still use all the currency from the conquest gearing. So conquest and aquatic resource matrix, but you also have to farm a resource that is specific to operations, hazardous matter catalyst. And then flashpoint gear, again, they still use the same currency as the conquest, so metals of accommodations and aquatic resource matrix, but you also need to farm decurion isotope stabers, stabilizers from flashpoints. So if you're upgrading existing gear to get a higher item rating, you need currency. Everything needs metal of accommodations and aquatic resource matrix, but uh, operations and flashpoints require less of those resources because they introduce a third resource you need to upgrade. And then the weekly missions are the only way to get given a single piece of gear that's an actual upgrade. The other thing that's a little bit frustrating, it's not the end of the world, but if I go in here and I right click one of these items and upgrade it, and this item, uh, sorry, the primary, so if I was to upgrade this item, it would get deleted. I would permanently lose this main hand weapon and they would give me this 324 item instead. So if I want to pull out any color crystals or augments, I got to do that beforehand. I don't get to keep the item to deconstruct it or anything. It's just deleted from my inventory and I get given this other item instead. So just be aware of that pulling out your augments if you are going to augment your gear. Color crystals, if it matters to you you're going to lose that piece so permanently. So you can't take that piece and send it to another character to wear his hand-me-down gear. Not that you need to. You can just send them your real good stuff instead. Okay. Got a little sidetracked. Told you this would be a bit more of a longer video, a deep dive, and looking at the very specific nuanced issues that I've seen people talking about a lot. Hopefully that helps everybody. Hopefully that allows you to uh, find solutions to some of the bugs on PTS, or if you were just trying to understand the system a lot better, hopefully now you fully understand it. So I just wanted to test one last thing. I quit the game, restarted it. I was able to load up my fourth loadout here and put in the weapons finally. So it definitely was a bug that was solved by quitting the game and relaunching it. Super unfortunate that that is a bug, but uh, at least that was a quick and easy fix. Uh, no guarantee that it's always gonna be a quick and easy fix. 
and I screwed up the gear on this loadout because that's how autosave works. Yay! <laughs> there we go. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.